Hello, in this video I'm going to be showing you how to make the business card trebuchet. Uh, the first thing you'll need is the design files, which you can find at thingiverse.com slash thing colon 16735. Uh, there's a variety of formats available, just download whichever works best for you. And then we'll also need materials, including a thick paper or cardboard, tape, a hobby knife or other sharp blade, scissors, 16 pennies, and jumbo paper clips. Then we have to get the design onto the cardboard. The easiest way would be with a printer that can print in that cardboard. If you don't have a printer available that can print on that thick paper, then we can print it out on a thin paper, cut it out and trace it, or you can outline it with something that will bleed through the thin paper or you can glue the thin paper down to the cardboard and cut it out from there. Once you get the design on your cardboard you just need to cut it out with scissors uh, try to stay as close to the lines as possible Once you get it all cut out, it may be a good idea to make some little notches where the dotted lines are to help with folding. Uh, this just sort, sort of makes it easier to make the creases. So then you'll put it face down and bend the paper up where the, from one notch to the other so that the sides are at nice right angles to the body. To make the counterweights, we simply wrap two stacks of eight pennies with tape. It doesn't have to be extremely neat, just enough to hold them together. And the inner parts of the design we need to cut out with a hobby knife or other sharp blade. Just try to, again, cut along the lines and the dotted lines are where a fold will be, so you do not need to cut any of the dotted lines. After you get the insides cut out, the two side tabs fold together in the center and interlock to support the sides of the card. Then all you need to do is place the pennies into the rectangular slots that you get up on the front of the card and take a jumbo size paper clip and bend it slightly so that the biggest loop of the paper clip will stick up put the card into the top loop of the paper clip and let it go and that's all there is to it uh, this card is pretty simple to make so I think just about anyone can do it if you can't do it or you want a cleaner looking card, you can find these on my website, cardnetics.com. Thanks for watching.